Hey guys, HomeLab here. If you have one of these Windows XP's lying around your house, don't throw it away. There's still some really good uses you can get out of it. Because they're so old, they're a lot different than the ones that are made today. And there's still some really interesting things about this Windows XP. So first what I'm gonna do before I start working on it is turn it off, of course, and unplug it. I've gone ahead and I flipped it over and we're gonna need to take out all of the screws on the back so we can remove this back panel and get to the contents inside. So I'll be right back when I do that. All right, now that all the screws are out, you can remove this panel and then remove the battery. Now we wanna disconnect the screen here. So it's not very hard. Just get yourself some wire cutters and disconnect the two wires that are connecting the screen together and the joints should come out very easily. Then you can just go ahead and set this aside for later. All right, back to the main part. Next, you're going to want to flip it over and remove the keyboard part. Go ahead and remove this heat sink. This is gonna be important. And with the screws we took out earlier, you can get the frame part, take these screws out, and then slide it up through there. And just like that, we've removed the heat sink. Now you can do what you'd like with this, but I'm going to be recycling it just to get some money for the copper. Next, what you're going to want to do is pick up the whole computer. Put the computer with the back facing out inside of your door jam, and it will hold the door open for you. And that is how you get use out of a Windows XP. Join me next time when I will be talking about how to fix the political system.